For Kenyan artist Kyoko Mutiki, these pieces of scrap metal, collected from junkyards or car garages, hide a treasure of creative options. We have this, which we use a lot for, you know, eyes. If you're doing eyes, you can, you can do a little bit of this. After being expelled from his fine arts program at Nairobi's Kenyatta University for taking part in a student riot in the 1980s, Kyoko found work at a milk factory welding metal cans. That's where he started turning bits of discarded iron into striking animal sculptures. I grew up in a place where, which was very rich in wildlife. You don't have to go to the zoo. You know, you, you do it from the natural setup. Kyoko's artworks have been shown and sold around the world. Here in Kenya, they've also inspired the most sincere form of flattery, imitation. But the sculptor doesn't mind. His success is now serving to benefit younger artists, whom he shows in his new gallery. We need to teach the artist how to sell art. It's important because art is also a product that can improve their lives. Some local artists are selling but mainly to collectors abroad. Kyoko's next project is to amass his own collection, keeping a permanent record at home of the development of Kenyan art. <laughs>